What's up everybody, it's Carl aka Carl Trump Tech and today let's talk about what is better, drum corps style of marching or HBCU style of drumming. Here we go, cue the music. All right, if you guys are finding me for the first time, please make sure you hit that subscribe button, this red button down below that says subscribe. That way you're notified anytime I put out a new video of our, about the marching arts, marching bands, drum lines, color guards, HBCUs, things like that. Did I say color guard? I never do color guard. So I always say it, it always comes out. But uh, also uh, make sure you hit that notification bell above. That way you are notified first anytime I drop a new video. All right, so don't miss a single upload. Hit that notification bell after you subscribe and let's get to the video topic. All right, so um, I was inspired to, to do this topic because you know this conversation is pretty much blown up in the comment section of my last video, which is East Coast style drumming versus West Coast style drumming. So make sure you guys watch that video before you watch this one. So now the next thing I wanna tackle is drum core style of drumming versus HBCU style of drumming, okay? So now I, I'm sure you guys know my background. My background is, you know, the drum corps style of marching and things like that. And then, you know, I've never done, you know, HBCU or anything like that. But, you know, I've, as, as Carl Drum Tech, you know, as I meet more and more people, you know, I am exposed to that kind of style, right? Which is HD, uh, SDJ Malik is, you know, from HBCU. I don't know if you guys know, but Ralph Nader uh, comes from HBCU. He went on March Blue Devils and stuff like that. But he came from that, right? Harvey Thompson, okay? So there's a lot of prominent uh, percussionists now that you're seeing especially online too who are from that background okay so show style drumming uh, you know whatever you want to call it right has become pretty popular uh, especially you know with social media and the internet and all that good stuff right so more more and more of you guys who are in the drum course style in the drum course scene are seeing more of it okay and there's some talk as far as like, okay, so now which is better, right? So I'm sure there's gonna be some HBCU people who will say, you know, HBCU style is better, okay? Um, there's gonna be, of course, drum corps people who say, drum corps style is better, okay? And the arguments, you know, like it can be, really be anything, right? You know, HBCU, they, uh, you know, they play popular music, they play loud, uh, the crowd really gets into it. And that's something that you should watch. If you've never seen an HBCU. And if you guys don't know what HBCU means, it means historically, historically black colleges or universities, right? So, you know, this is a product of, you know, just, you know, giving uh, African Americans access to education when it was really hard to get access to that kind of stuff, you know, because of the history of America, you know, you can look into it, all right? So, um, so that's uh, why you have these HBCUs, okay? And then you have HBCU, you know, like bands and drum lines, okay? So that's where all this came from, okay? So you could say HBCU is better because it's more showy. And then like, like I said, like when I watch these groups, it's like, the crowd is really into it. I mean, it's not. It's it's like you go to a regular like you know high school band or you know performance something like that for a football game. A lot of people go to the concession stands and stuff like that. You know, instead of watching the band, unless it's real. I mean, I'm not saying this is for everything for every group, um, but there's a lot of situations where you know the, a lot of the crowd will go start going to concessions and skip out on the halftime show, the halftime performance. But for HBCU, everybody's into it. Like it, it's maybe it's because the music, right? Maybe because of the intensity of the performers. Maybe it's because like the you know you have these battles, right? between drum lines so it's very exciting right um you know and then drum core style is like you know more precise it's you know it has more technique you know it's like uh you know we, we play more complicated music and all that good stuff right so like what is better all right so my answer to you is again same as my last video which is it doesn't fucking matter all right that's the point okay it's like basically comparing apples to oranges what's better i don't know it depends on what you like okay so when people argue about these kinds of things it's, it's actually very fascinating and interesting for me okay it's because when people say okay well drum corps is better because of this and this and this and this it's because you only see that world you only see from your narrow point of view which is that's what you've been educated in that's what you've been taught but i bet you if you went and went to an hbcu you know college you learn that style you'd be like hbcu is better because that's all you see do you see my point okay so People like, like to put these like, you know, um, categories to things or, you know, hierarchies, right? What's better? This is better than this is better and it's because of that. Like, yo, like, think about it this way, okay? When you think about music, all right? You think about music all around the world. People have many different interpretations of how music should be played. I don't know if you know this, okay? But when you go to some part of the world, 
Not everybody is going to learn the European style. Not everybody's going to learn the classical style, okay? You go to Japan, it's a completely different style, okay? It's a completely different style of learning, you know, music, uh, you know, notations, uh, terminologies, like how you feel things, like, you know, and this is, here's a really good example. And I can be very passionate about this because I, I it just, in, in a way, all right, it just makes me go like, what? Like, we, like, people don't see outside, okay, of what they are taught, outside of their environment, outside of their current reality okay it's only when you go and you go out there and see the world you meet different people you see that there's many different ways of doing things okay there's like when you like food right so when it comes to food there's many different styles of preparing it okay so you can take one dish a chicken dish and then like you go to india they to they make it totally different you go to japan totally different you go to europe totally different right here totally different okay so what's better i don't know it doesn't fucking matter right everybody has their own style everybody has their own interpretation it doesn't mean like like just because your way that you know very well you know is like uh is is so cultured and it's so technical and it's so like you know precise that it's better than somebody else's style fuck that shit you know what i'm saying like i say fuck that because that's why there are problems in this world is when people categorize things and when people put hierarchies on things that's why we have racism that's why we have classism that's why we have all these problems in the world republicans versus democrats my view is better than your view because I know my view and I just I just know it's better. I don't know your view, but I just know mine is better. Like it's so stupid. Do you see what I'm saying? Okay? So now back to my, you know, example about, you know, like like Japanese style of music, right? Like taiko drumming for example, okay? So I have a former student. She went on and marched uh, you know, Pulse, won some gold medals and stuff like that. She was in the front ensemble. Uh, she's totally into like Japanese style drumming, like, you know, uh, taiko and all that stuff. So she's learning taiko. She's in the song ensemble. She's studying it. She's into it, super into it, okay? And then she has somebody else join her ensemble, also from the drum corps marching percussion world, okay? Now, this individual, right, was, you know, learning some stuff, you know, with my former student. They were practicing and stuff like that. And then, you know, uh, my student was, like, showing this individual, right, like, okay, this is the style, this is what we do, you know, this is how we play it, this and that. And then the person who came from the drum corps background as well, right, is, you know, I mean, this person is, like, thinking, um, can we bust out a met? Like, I, I really need the metronome, okay? <laughs> okay, think about this, okay? Do you think Japanese taiko drummers bust out a metronome, right, to worry about, like, perfect interpretation of rhythms and, you know, spacing and all that stuff? Fuck no, they don't, okay? So I'm not saying they can't or they, you know, like, or, 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 or like, you know, like, um, you know, they wouldn't do that, like, to learn from another style, which is another thing I talked about in my last video, but... Do you think back in those, like, you know, hundreds of years ago that they busted out a metronome, like, to check their tempo? Okay? There's different ways of feeling pulse. There's different ways of feeling tempo. There's different ways of feeling rhythm. Sometimes you go, you play a rhythm. Okay, this is, like, you know, from a perspective that's, like, not, that's outside, okay, of the marching percussion, you know, uh, drum corps style, right? Which is, there's all these different interpretations, right? You can go by just feeling, right? You feel something, so you interpret a tempo a certain way. Like you might slow down if you feel a certain way. You might speed up if you feel a certain way, okay? And that is how they convey tempo, right? Doesn't mean it's wrong, it doesn't mean it's right. It's just, this is how it's done, okay? So, you know, there's, you, like, you have, like, you can compare, you know, a classically trained trumpet player, all right, who, ha who has who's, who's learned all the European styles of technique and approach and pedagogy and all that good stuff, and you go to some other country out there, right, in like the South America, they, they you know, give somebody a trumpet, they learn trumpet, they've been learning for many years, they have no idea about this, you know, like European style of learning, and he doesn't want to learn it, and he doesn't care, and he's gonna give a shit about that kind of stuff, because he just wants to do it the way his ancestors have been doing it, his, you know, his relatives have been doing it for many, many, many years, right, you know, or, or like, you know, like um, just the way it's been done in that country, in that region, and does that make it wrong? Of course not. That's just the way they do it over there. Europe has their way. Okay, here's the thing, okay? Like, this may be unpopular, but European style is not the only way to interpret music. European style is not the only, like, is not the best music style out there because what is the best? Okay, everybody has their own approach. Everybody has their own, like, techniques and way of doing things, and they're all good. It's all valid. You see me get, getting very, very passionate about this thing, all right? Because people are like, this is better, this is better. Apples and oranges, man. Like, seriously, it's like, how do you compare things that are so different? It's the same thing, yes, music is the same thing, but you can't just be like, yo, 
Like this is the only way to do it. The way I've learned and the way I was exposed to, the way I was taught is the only way. Therefore, it is the best way. I, I've never heard of the other stuff. Like I've never even tried it, but my way is definitely the best way. Like how could you say that, right? You can't say that. Now, okay, <laughs> to be fair, I'm not saying that like, you know, if you dislike HBCU style, right? But you know, just because of, you know, just the way, you know, maybe it's just the, the, the style itself, right? Like uh, maybe just, you know, the, the, the type of music that they play or the type of, you know, performance, you know, like, uh, you know, how they do things, like how they perform. Like, it's just not your way of doing things. It's not your cup of tea. That's okay, okay? That's completely fine. Like, I don't like country, you know, <laughs> but like country music, but there's people who like it and it's fine, right? I'm, I'm not saying country music is inferior. I'm saying that country music is not my thing, okay? So just don't say one is better than the other. Be very careful about when you say stuff like that. If you just say, I don't like it, I don't prefer it, it's just not my style, it's not my thing, all right? Like some people like, you know, it just, the, the, some people don't like certain styles of music, that's okay. Some people don't like certain foods, that's okay. Some people don't like, you know, certain cars, that's okay, right? You have your own style, you have your own preference. and. Just don't say that your style is better than anybody else's. Don't just say that your point of view is better than anybody else's. It's a very dangerous thing. That's why I'm trying to you know, caution against these kinds of thinking because this is why, like I said, this is why we have problems in the world. It's because of thinking like that. My way is better. My way of thinking is better. I'm better than you. I am more technical. I am more like, you know, uh, blah, 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 blah. Like, fuck that shit, seriously, all right? So, just be more open, okay? Travel the world, see that there's many different ways of doing things, meet other people, see that there's other ways of you know, thinking, that you know, people have different approaches, different styles, different philosophies, different ways of thinking. Like all of that is good and valid, okay? And I think for you to have a really big perspective, okay? And for you to you know, kind of like be okay with things in the world, okay? Especially even if it doesn't align with your worldview or your musical view, it's okay. Right? Because you can understand somebody's point of view. You can understand how they came about like this way of thinking or this style or why they came up with a certain musical you know, uh, approach okay? or study, whatever. Right? It's all good. It's all valid. Okay, so HBCU versus drum corps. What's better? You get it now? Doesn't matter. Okay? If anything, expand your horizons. Okay? Try to see it from the other group's point of view. See why they would think it's cool. Okay? Hopefully they'll do the same, okay? So like, in a way, I'm speaking for the drum corps world, the uh, marching percussion world, because that's where I come from. That's my discipline. But I'm not sitting here telling you that it's better than anybody else's way of doing things. Like, like our way of marching band is better than somebody else's way of marching band. I'm not saying that at all, okay? If anything, I admire the way HBCUs do it the way they do it. I love the swagger. I love how the way they play. I love, you know, the notes that they you know, that they play with. I love the drumline battles. I love, you know, the crowds are just so into it. I love that. And I and I can appreciate that. I, I love that they play loud. I mean, we we you know, in the drum corps world, you know, we have these, you know, peaks and valleys, you know, we have these the, the precision with the heights, you know, the dynamics and stuff like that. That's all that's all good too, okay? But is it like HBCU? Okay, maybe it tends to play louder you know, most of the time. Okay, like, you know, like who cares, right? That's, that's the way they want to do it. Let them do it that way. And like, you can still appreciate what they do, especially since it's different. Do you ma can you imagine how boring the world would be if everybody did marching band the exact same way? That would suck, seriously. Like that would be really lame if everybody just did the same fucking thing. Right? But if everybody kind of like does their own thing in their own style, in their own flavor, like that's cool, right? Because it's more interesting. Like, oh, I like how you do that. It's totally different than the way I would do it, but yeah, that's cool. Like you can say it's cool, right? And, and appreciate it. You don't have to learn that style. You don't have to like buy into it, but you can appreciate it. You can respect it. That's my message for you today, okay? Um, yo, check it out. Uh, way You and Pan is gonna drop a video lesson right now to show you some back sticking. I know a lot of HBCU drum lines like to do back sticking, stick tricks and stuff like that. Learn from a master, all right, at stuff like back sticking. Way you have hand, go. Now, with any sort of back sticking, uh, it's very alluring because when you see it, a lot of players go, whoa, that's amazing, how did you do that? But the, uh, the educator in me wants to say that anytime you see a, a crazy stick trick or back sticking, you want to look for the underlying technical or fundamental 
basic that you should know as a drummer or as a percussionist before you start to try to do the, the crazy, sticky, tricky, flippy stuff. Okay, so in this example, um, we have this basic right hand back sticking, basic left hand back hand sticking, and then we're gonna go over this cross sticking motion that you can incorporate. And the basic that we're gonna be looking at are putadas and dadapas. So this first sticking, putada, is a right, left, left, right, left, left, right, left, left, right, left. Now the second sticking you wanna be aware of, aware of is the dadapa, which is right, right, left. The back sticking portion, if you're playing match grip, it's gonna be the both on the right and the left. If you're a, a snare drummer or you wanna learn how to play traditional left hand traditional grip, we'll cover both, okay? So in the right hand, you've got your basic note, which is this. And then in my right hand, I just open up my palm a little bit. So you can see it's from here, I'll turn just to the side a little bit. I open up my hand like this. And it's important that you hold on to the stick with these fingers because that's gonna help you. And all the, uh, the attention that you place on sound quality, the same thing applies for your back sticking. A lot of times you'll see people kind of ghost their back sticks, but you wanna still try to get some decent sound quality out of the instrument when you back stick. So in your right hand, it's just this, you open it up, it goes to this. This, this is gonna feel super weird when you first start. You'd be like, this feels terrible, right? But the more you do it, you just wanna practice going from that open to close, open to close position. Now in your left hand, if you've got traditional grip here, what I do is I pull my fingers down like this, and you play with the, the back of the stick like this, or the butt of the stick, right? So if we go from here, you just bring your hands over, and I use my middle finger to pull the stick in, especially if you go faster later, you're gonna need that quick whipping motion, and I turn my hand over just a little bit, like, like, like you're turning the doorknob the way you would go like this, in this case, it's more of like a, I guess I don't turn it over horizontally, it's more of like a, a match grip situation, right? And you give it that little extra flick because you want that, again, that sound quality with your back stick. You don't want it to sound like a ghost note. You want it to sound like a note that you're actually playing. Okay, so you go from here, pull the fingers down, fingers here, pull the fingers down. Now, there's two ways you can do this. If you're playing like this and you turn your hand over, this is going to be the most visually paralleled to your right hand if you can bring the stick in this horizontal plane like this. But sometimes it's going by so fast, you can cheat it a little bit by pulling the stick this way towards you and playing with the butt of the stick this way, and you're also, you're kind of like slicing in a horizontal. This is faster, right, if I just keep it in this horizontal plane. But as you can see, this looks a little bit more visually dramatic as you're doing this motion, right? For the last step, I, I mentioned at the beginning of the video, we're gonna learn this. Right, and that is basically everything that we just learned minus this left hand cross sticking motion. Okay, so the first part of that is pa da da pa da da, right, which we learned in the first part pa da da pa da da, right hand back sticking, and then a left hand pa da da pa da da pa da da, or sorry, da da pa da da pa, so pa da da pa da 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 pa da da pa. So the sticking without the back sticking is right, left, left, right, left, left, right, right, left, right, right, left. Then two more counts of right, right, left, right, right, left, and then pa da da pa da. So two pa da das, two da da pas, two da da pas, two pa da das. Pa da da pa da 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 pa da da pa da da pa da da pa pa da da pa da da. First two beats pa da da pa da da, da da pa da da pa, da da pa da da pa, pa da da pa da da. All right, hopefully you guys learned something there and uh, you can add that to your arsenal of, of tricks and things that you can do uh, with a you know pair of sticks. So enjoy that, have fun, practice it, and uh, maybe post a video, that'll be fun. Okay, so yo, did you guys understand the message? Okay, so whenever I put out a video that's like, this or this, what's better, versus, you know, like, I, I like to do that stuff because it, it that's what creates interest. People are interested in talking about what is better, okay? But when you come to my videos, <laughs> Okay, you're not gonna get a diff you're not gonna get a definitive answer from me because I'm gonna tell you that it doesn't matter, right? It, it really doesn't. Okay, it's all about preference. It's all about what people like. It's all about you know like their sensibilities. It's all about you know their background, their history, and why it, it came upon that way. Like this goes along with everything in the world, every philosophy, every style of doing things. Like you know, like I said, cooking, music, you know, driving cars. I don't know. Like everybody has their own style. Everybody has their own way. Education, you know. 
And just because, okay, you didn't learn it that way, okay, the way that other people learn it, doesn't mean that it's not valid, okay? Just take it for what it is, and uh, if you think like that, your world and our world in general will be better off for it. Okay, cool. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, please do me a huge favor, hit that like button down below. Leave a question or a comment as well. Uh, let me know what you guys think about this video, all right? Uh, I tend to ramble uh, at times, so I'm sorry about that, but hopefully you guys kinda got what I'm saying. Hopefully you got the passion in what I'm talking about because you know, I get so, I, in a way, I, 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 try, you know, I try not to get frustrated, but you know, it just kinda riles me up to see why people are arguing about certain things when all you have to do is open your mind. Free your mind, okay? Don't just think within your narrow point of view. Don't just think within your box of education. Think outside of it, okay? Break out of this prison that you put yourself in that's like, this is, this is the only way, this is, this is the only way I see it, like nothing else matters, like get out of those blinders, okay? See the world around you, appreciate the beauty of the world around you because it's so different, because it's so diverse, because everybody has different ideas. That's the beauty of the world. And that's what I'm trying to show you, all right? And that hopefully you guys get the passion for what I'm talking about, okay? If you guys uh, haven't subscribed yet, make sure you guys subscribe. And if you feel like this video could help somebody else out, make sure you share this video with them. Show, share it on all your social media platforms. Let's get this message out. I mean, you know, if we want to make, like uh, my message, my mission is to make the world a better place, starting with the marching percussion community. And if you are down with that mission, share this video. I'm serious, okay? If you guys want more people to hear this message, about you know HBCU and drum corps, like what's better? It doesn't really matter. Like get this message out there, okay? Share this video. I would really appreciate it. All right. So cool. Oh, there's a squirrel. He's checking out the video. Yo, peace out. What up, squirrel? All right. <laughs> uh, you guys should watch more of my videos. You can click over here and subscribe over here. Subscribe to Drumline Blueprint. Peace out. Catch you on the next video.